Robo Papa. It's the unboxing. <laughs> That's it. Because there's parts inside of this. This is parts inside. Uh. I didn't think it comes with two uh, filaments. They're saying that it's like random selection. <laughs> the color and the type. So, uh. yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I can do it. They wrapped up pretty good. The nice thing, it has the power cord that it's uh, not the power cord but the electricity. They fit also um, European. Okay. And they definitely pack it correctly. So there's a label over here that tells you the default voltage. So what I'm trying to do is to get to the power source. You can see it over here. That it's okay. default to 230. So before you can actually start, you have to move the power to be two uh, from two, 230 to 110 and it's hard to see over here but and it's hard to get to it but your knob should be on the right side versus the left side and that will be like a two, uh, 110 and that will be for the US settings if you're somewhere else where you're using 230 you want that knob to be on the left side versus the right and then you'll be able to use the full 230. So we'll change the power. The next part will be to actually remove the extruders, which are over here. And you want to be very gentle with these um, because the cable is still connected. So you don't want to pull it from the cable itself. We'll start removing the extra padding that they included. Um, so what we want to do now, there's two um, uh, pulls, filament pulls. So we want to raise the bed um, a little bit, that way we can actually pull it out. And you want to be, you have two methods, either you rotating the bar or the z-axis over here, um, like, like so, manually. And you might see the screen actually flickering over here on the static. So like so, and you're lifting the bed. This now gives us enough space over here to remove the filaments. So let's see what I got. Got a spool of white, which is to say also over here, that's the ABS, 1.75 millimeters. Okay. Usually it's one ABS and one PLA. So this ABS was white. And of course the next filament will be an ABS. And there's labels on it as well. So it's an ABS, 1.7 millimeters and red. I wish it was blue, but I'll take it. Without putting too much force in it. Um, the next step will be to actually remove the, um, the X and Y motors. That way we can put the extruders in place. You want to be careful when you're taking it out that we're not ripping some of the uh, cables, the power cable. And you want to pull it out. 
So gently we'll take now the extruder heads. And this machine comes with a dual extruder. Lay this, uh, the extruders obviously with the nozzles pointing down. And also another indication is you have small holes in here. And over here, you can see that uh, there are two holes. So we'll take the, the extruders, the fan needs to point to the front. And you will just lay them. They should be snuggy. Okay. So that's basically for the printer. And now we can look, see what other goodies we got in here. So you're getting uh, an SD card where you can put um, your prints, um, STLs, it's a 4 gigs, and they have the software in this also. Some screws to um, mount everything, and the hardware with the Allen wrenches in it, and uh, the nuts. Then you'll have a bag for the screws that you will mount the, um, the nozzles. first parts inside box so the first box which you can distinguish between them the same parts inside so the first box that I picked up it's the power cable an extra um, motor cable a USB a female male USB This box probably will have the filament guidance. So you have the two spool holders that will come and mount on the back. We'll show that. that will come over here for the plastic and this one because this one is the pro you're getting like another nice box over here on the top that kind of supposed to hold the, the cords as well as like keeping the, the heat inside and there will be a door over here as well so the guy that I bought, like, I bought it from the, this 3D printer from Amazon, and the guy was great. He immediately emailed when they were shipping um, with the instructions. And so part of the instructions, which are pretty um, well formatted and good English, um, they're referencing a video, but the video is in uh, Chinese, I believe it is, of how to build Empty bag. How to build um, the case over here and the door. It's not like a rocket science. Alright, so the next thing will be to actually now mount the screws into the, to the nozzles. So we'll do that next. <laughs> 